Pogues, Fairy Tale of New York. It's a long song with quite a few different parts. <laughs> there will be mistakes. The intro starts with a D shape at the fifth fret, but you only play the first string. Move up to the seventh fret, rake through, and come back and play the second string. Up to the ninth fret, this time you rake through and then put your little finger down on the 10th fret of the first string and then you come back down to the second fret for the D the first time you rake through and come back to the second string then you go to the D sus4 with your little finger down break through and play the top string. Then an A sus4, break through and play the second string. And then a D. And then you kick into the song proper on an A sus4. So putting that together slowly, The intro also comes back later as an interlude, so I'll play through the intro and then through the first half of the first verse. So the song starts in four time and it's over a fairly sparse piano. So it's not a massive rhythm that you can copy here. So I'm basically just playing one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. So coming out of the A sus4 from the intro, it was, so that was it was Christmas and then the verse starts on Eve and that's D so it's G for drunk tank D said A for another one The second half starts the same again. It's D on the sound. G for mountain, mountain dew. And here's where you have to count for the line beginning, face away and dreamed about you. You're counting one, two, three, and four, and one, and two. Which is an odd set of changes, but that's the way I'm hearing it on the original. So it's one, two, three, and four, and one, and two. And back to the Asus 4 to go into the second verse. This is quite a complex song, and it's not just verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, which are all the same. There are four parts to the song other than the intro, and 
it's worth recognising what those parts are because then when the sections move around, you don't feel like you're learning something brand new each time. You're recognising it as something that you already know. The second verse is the same as the first verse. You then repeat the intro and then you have a faster interlude where the time signature changes. So I'll play through the second verse, the God on the Lucky One, repeat the intro and then play through that interlude and go through it. <laughs> So on that interlude, the interlude is half of part B. Part B, which you then get in later verses, is just this section but played twice through. And it's D, 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 A for the first line, and then D, G, A, D for the second line. And here we're changing, I don't know if it's three, four, or six, eight, but either way you're now counting threes and not fours. And the strumming pattern that I'm using is one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. One, two, and, three, and. and that carries out throughout that. And when you hit the last D of the second line, you pick up into the next verse on the two and three end. So playing that through slowly. Part C, the third verse, the They've Got Cars Because Bars, is four lines and they're all different. Um, where there's a B minor in this, you'll need a B minor later in the song, but for this verse, instead of a B minor, you can play a D instead, and it doesn't make a massive difference to the sound. But the first line, they've got cars because bars, is D, A, B minor, G, the second line, but the wind, is three bars of D, one of A. The third line, when you first took my hand, is D, B minor, D, G. And the fourth line is D, D, a, D. And the they've got picks up on the tail end of that interlude. So if we play through that verse, I'll play through it relatively slowly. It's the, the first beat of this, it's come out they've got is on the tail end of the interlude, the, which is a D. And then the cars, so this verse would be... verse, the You Are Handsome, You Are Pretty, Queen of New York City, is different to the third verse, but the good news is it's actually part B, that interlude that you've already learnt, just played twice, and the You Were picks up on the 
final end of the uh, previous verse. This one starts on handsome, but this one is just D, 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 A, D, G, A, D, repeated. So it's a double up of part B. So playing through this verse, and bear, I'll play one bar of D, which is the pick up from the um, previous verse for the you were. We've now hit the final new part to learn, part D, which is the chorus, the boys of the NYPD choir. And that is G, G, D, B minor, D, G, A, A, D. So playing through that. So that's just playing it. It's, it's slower than the, the verses. But instead of just playing down strokes, you can also vary that up a little bit, say, as an example. That's just adding a little bit of variety. So instead of playing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The good news is that's the last of the parts that you have to learn for the song. The song then effectively um, starts again from the third verse, fourth verse, chorus, um, this time the first of those verses is just an instrumental, so um, play through part C for the instrumental, then the um, your bum is part B twice, repeat the chorus, part D, play the intro, and verse 6 is the same as verses 1 and 2. And you play the chorus again, and you outro just over really the first line of the first verse. So that would be. and so on. If you've made it this far then good luck and I hope it makes sense but I'll now put some of the parts together into shorter play along sections to give you something to practice against. So starting with the intro first two verses and the repeat of the intro.
Now the repeat of the intro, the interlude, the third and fourth verses and the chorus. You then have the instrumental verse, the you're a bum, you're a punk verse, repeat the chorus and then play the intro. So that part would be... The final section, you come out of that intro, you play the final verse, which is the I could have been someone, the final chorus, and then you just outro. The thing to watch here is you're shifting time signatures because you've got the 4-4 four, four verse, the chorus is back in threefold time, and then you've got the outro. So playing that through, just picking it up from the intro, Good luck, I hope this makes sense.